in all of professional sports. His name is Terry Forster. That's what David Letterman calls him, mind you. And he uh, invited Terry to come onto his show and respond to that accusation. So last night, it was David Letterman and Terry Forster face to face. They had never met before, yet a rivalry had developed. And Letterman got on the board in the bottom of the first minute, a one-liner back through the box. He also claims to weigh 210 pounds, which we all know is a lie. Please welcome <laughs> Terry Forster. Going to the top of the third minute, Letterman, as expected, an early 1-0 lead, but Forster rallied, scoring twice. Well, I was walking by my fifth deli of the day today. Uh -huh. <laughs> I looked in and I saw a David Letterman sandwich. Uh -huh, and you and went had for it. it. Yeah, it had a lot of tongue on it. Uh -huh. But you know... <laughs> David Letterman, I said, I thought he was canceled a few years back. Honestly, I didn't know he had a show. But Stenson... Letterman tied things up in the sixth minute, pointing out that Forster's 1971 baseball card had his weight listed as 210. And now, 14 years later... Okay, this is the current card. Weight, 210. It's amazing what a little money will do for you. So after six minutes, it was tied 2-2, and by the time they headed for the Forster cooking clinic, Terry took aim at manager Eddie Haas. Have you ever been sipping on a like a large tub of beer and, and had to go in uh not this no i know when i'm gonna pitch uh -huh. and that's never now but... <laughs> going to the ninth it was forster three letterman two pass nothing letterman rallied in the ninth we'll give him a run for passing up on both chicken tacos terry prepared tribute to fat athletes and says the floor was reinforced for the occasion. Terry Forster showed up to defend his honor and that was the scene on Late Night with David Letterman last evening. Throughout Major League history there have been some overweight pitchers. Hall of Famer early win here in his closing days with the Chicago White Sox. Won a hefty 300 games. In recent years Pirates pitcher Rick Russell has bounced from team to team. Astros rookie Charles Kerfeld in addition to being a John Candy lookalike weighs over 250. However he does show some grace on the field although he doesn't get the foot out. And then there's Atlanta Braves reliever Terry Forster, who was called a fat tub of goo some weeks ago by NBC David Letterman. Well, Forster showed on the Letterman show last night to provide, among other things, a fair share of laughs. Please welcome Terry Forster. <laughs> Thank you, Brad. Just put it right down there. Nice to see you, Terry. Oh, by the way, thanks, nice to meet thanks you. Thanks for being here. Have a or seat. nice Let to me... eat you. Nice oh, to yeah, meet come you. Come on, here. Just sit down. There you go. There's some... All right. <laughs> what is this? A little snack? What do you got there, Terry? Well, I was walking by my fifth deli of the day today. Uh -huh. <laughs> I looked in and I saw a David Letterman sandwich. Uh -huh. And you went and for had it. it. Yeah, it had a lot of tongue on it. Uh huh. But you know. <laughs> And the one-on-one -on -one continued over uh, some chicken tacos that Terry made. Okay, just like this. <laughs> now, do you ever uh, eat anything in the bullpen? Uh, we're not supposed to, but, I mean, like, this right here wouldn't even be a snack for us guys in the bullpen. Is that right? Not even a snack. Now, how does, how does that work? Do you bring it with you to the park, or do you actually eat the stuff in the ballpark? Well, what we do is we get somebody coming to us. You know, like somebody wants a uh, baseball autograph ball and say, hey, you have the ball and five bucks, go get us four hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> you have had beer in the bullpen. Have you ever been sipping on a like a large tub of beer and, and had to go in? Uh, not necessarily. No, I know when I'm going to pitch, uh -huh. and that's never now. But... <laughs>